Says some waifu cards looks like. Oh, I did not know I had super rares of these in Korean. <laughs> Korean JD Gaming. Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back today with a special video where we're going treasure hunting. I'm basically going through a lot of my OCG cards and trying to switch back over to those as proxies since I'm not playing TCG relevant events or anything. So this tin actually specifically says 2020, I changed over to TCG. Now I'm switching back. So uh, we'll look through this, a few other tins and a binder, use the chapter system, jump around. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun because we're going to see a lot of different things in rarities you may never even have heard of before for these specific cards so we're gonna go through these are just like extra pack inserts and yeah we'll try to pull up some good ones but it's basically like a mega pack open if you look at it um cat shark i could use effect failure i'm probably gonna use my english copies but we'll grab that because it's super droll and lockbird's interesting so we'll grab that and let's see there's a utopia guy i'm gonna go fairly fast because um a lot of these things you know there's a lot this card also have the korean ones that are foil so i'll use those uh, hana mizuki which is uh, the ghost sister so we'll use that rescue rabbit there's my uh there's two of them probably my third is in a binder look at that that is a cool rarity there this is millennium rare that you only got in the ocg so i like that secret rare allure of darkness super rare uh twin twisters here's super rare pot of extravagance so definitely will be using that here are my paleozoics uh, at least my morellas i guess so we'll grab all these in case monster gate mm, i don't use those recently so we'll not do that um, this thing I may need, but I have the English one, so I'll actually hang on to that for now. Twin Burst Dragon, no reason to switch. Like, my goal isn't to switch over everything to OCG, in case that wasn't clear in the last video. It's just, if I'm holding on to expensive cards in the TCG, there's no, like, financial reason for me to do that right now. I like the Korean version, so I'm gonna keep that. And so, I'll sell, like, the English ones, and I'll use the Korean ones instead. I, I can use these Phantasmes. Um, we got these cards are good, so I'll use those. We got Quantum Dragon... We got the Zephra. We got this. This is cool. We got a Shatter Foil version of a uh, Sky Striker Mecha Hornet drones. We got Widow Anchor, Area Zero, and we got the Hercules base. Even though I'm not using Hercules base currently, we'll go ahead and grab that anyway. And yeah, just filter through these. We got Crackdowns. I have the foil, so we'll use that. Um, very shiny red reboot. I might use one of these. Um, there's a cool looking Ultra, or there's a cool looking Secret Rare. Since it's limited, let's grab this one. We'll grab these two in case. Let's see here. One-time passcode's interesting, but not necessarily good. These are limited, unfortunately. This card's uh, fun, I guess. Uh, we've got Brotar, Band, uh, Destrudo here. There's some Paleozoic, so I'll probably need to grab these just to make sure. There might be like an English card or two hidden in here somewhere that like I didn't realize. Um, I do have an expensive Ultra Rare Skill Drain. Maybe I'll get rid of that. English copy. I'm not sure. Got Proxy Dragon. This looks kind of cool. Gamma Seal, so I'll grab those because uh, those look nicer, I think. The Super Rare looks nicer than the Dude Ultras, in my opinion, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we got Anti Spells, and so I'll grab the Anti Spells because I might use that for like side deck. Now we got some of these. Oh, this is like the. It's, it's actually a Legend collection, it looks like, but uh, they're movie cards. Mind control. This looks kind of cool. I might set that aside. MST super rare looks cool. And there's some other rarities of things we'll see too. Oh, effect failure is this nice special super. Here's a third uh, rescue rabbit, so we'll grab that. New kinds of rarities you don't normally see. Normally when I, I look through cards, I'll actually like filter through from the back as fast as I can. But if I do that, you can't see what they are. Like basically if you do that, that's the fastest way for me to find something specific I'm looking for. But we'll go this way. Like look at how shiny that is. Wow. Yeah, those look like movie cards, but that's from Legend Collection in the OCG. You remember that opening we got a twin burst dragon i'll set that one aside because i sold my blue eyes stuff this allure looks really cool as a super but i already have that secret rare one wow that's glossy almost all this stuff is movie stuff so we don't particularly care here's just some bulk it looks like dark neo storm this was an interesting set we got boxes of it in korea when we were physically there in 2019 so that's some nice memories there especially with us not being able to go here like the movie or not the movie the megaton prismatic secrets they don't have the art border, which is kind of cool because it's the Kazuki Takahashi 
artwork there. Those look really, really shiny there. Almost done with this tent. I think this is bulk, so yeah, I'm just gonna filter through like this. So basically, this is how I do it. Like, if I'm looking for, you know, like a specific link monster, it's like, oh, well, here's a link monster, you know? Um, or if I do this, or I hold my hands far enough apart, like, I can see what cards are filtering through. Can I read every card? No. And like, will I miss stuff? If it's like a set I'm not familiar with, like, you know, this set, I'm looking through bulk, then yeah, I might miss something. But you're basically able to just go through real fast and see, is there even anything worth it? Is there a specific card that you are looking for that you want to use? Extra Hero Cross Guy, and this guy is a super rare from this set, so I rather like that one. I'll keep one copy in case. This is a tin I'm excited about, because even if there's nothing I want to use, there's going to be some cool sets here. CRV, Cybernetic Revolution, bulk, so it's not going to be anything interesting. But we have the Rarity Collection 1, stuff from my binder, and then we have basically Duelist Saga on here, plus a deck build pack. Dark Savior is actually the one with our Brandish Maidens, which of course is our good old Sky Striker, so very happy to see those guys. This is CRV bulk, so we'll just toss that to the side here. Mad Lobster here. Here's some Cybernetic Revolution cards, including the dumb magical explosion. Here's a cool emergency teleport. Summoner's art looks very clean here. Lots of duplicates in here because this is the collection, rarity collection, so a lot of cards that are just same things I organize multiples for. Mizuki's nice and got rescue rabbits, that's where that came from. Coach Soldier. Dark Cymorg, the card that for whatever reason is able to prevent Book of Moon from resolving, which makes no sense. Archfiend is not limited in OCG, let that sink in. Remember when Breakthrough Skill was the card everyone wanted? It's hard to find Plague Spreaders that are clean, like you have this guy has like this weird marking here you can see on camera, this guy has the line down the middle, and this guy has some weird scratches, but I think he's the best out of these. It's interesting to see the original Sky Striker cards as commons in this set, like Shark Cannon is a common here, we have Eagle boosters are common, all this kind of stuff. It's just interesting to see that's the way they did things. So overall, lots of jumping around, but I think we got a very successful operation today. I mean, I'm not going to go through everything, but just looking at all this stuff, you know, I mean, I can finally play all these cards again. It makes me excited to revisit a lot of these strategies too that you can see in here and it's kind of cool to be able to play some of these decks. I don't know if I've honestly got enough cards to make like a full OCG deck. Maybe certain archetypes I could but um, for the most part it's still going to be a mix of TCG and OCG but uh, I think it is kind of neat having access to all of this stuff here so that you know we are able to go ahead and uh, save some money, make economical decisions Decisions. You gotta sometimes think, you know, what matches your specific goal. So it's actually been a few days since I did the last recording for this bit, but I accidentally came across yet another tin of stuff to look through, and I think this one is full of a lot of stuff. I was actually going through a lot of the same tins that I showed on camera one more time, because I was like, I know there's a stack of stuff I haven't found yet. We'll see what we find in here. So, uh, Unexpected Dies pretty good so we'll pull that out. Mecha, but that's what I've been looking for all night. Finally found that. We have some interesting rarities here. Uh, I might pull this set just because it's actually all the same set there. Rare Metaverse. Super rare Unizombies. I think I ended up switching to TCG Ultras, but I rather like the super rare OCG feel. Like Again, everything just has that nice gloss on it, so I like that already have a few of these pulled. It was kind of funny finding this thing too because I'm generally a very organized person. I don't lose stuff, but um, ever since I got... Oh, we'll pull the gesture cone fees because those are expensive. But anyway, um, because I ended up uh, getting a ton of megatons over the last couple of years, especially like longer ones, I guess, instead of like the traditional megatons, I had a couple cases of those that I forgot to go through and I had been using those as my holders for some of these cards as well. So it's just something that wasn't at the top of mind. But uh, definitely got some useful things. I did not even know I had super rare cosmic cyclones there. So now I have a full playset of super rares of that, for example. And of course, if I have to come back here, then I know exactly where I need to go. I don't remember if I have my lambda or not. I know I was going to get rid of the one I already had. Here's a secret rare. We'll grab that just in case. Sign at minings. I'll grab that. Quite nice. Oh wow, I didn't even know I had a full playset of each of these cards in the Korean OCG, so uh, that changes things. I may run those, I may run the English, we'll just see, they're not too expensive in the TCG at the moment, so 
we'll go ahead and uh, grab those engage okay yes this is what i was looking for here and we got some uh Nice extra secrets. Okay, so I got two Makavas. I literally just bought two foils, but you know, I, I still like foil versions of cards, so I'll probably do that. I'll grab this just because it's an ultimate. And um, at the end of this segment too, I'll show like a close-up of all these, because I know it's kind of hard for me to show everything real close. Oh, it's another ultimate, so we'll pull that out. I always forget that Tempest Magician is banned. There's Tatsunoko. I've been looking for that secret rare for a long time, and I finally found it, so I'm happy for that. Beatrice as a rare. This is number 89. He's a premium pack card, I think, or a collector's pack it looks like um, in the OCG so it's not like a prize card which means he's a lot more affordable over there oh I did not know I had super rares of these in Korean but I have my ultis I'll grab them for now just because I love Sky Strikers so much oh and I have another Korean Sarah okay interesting another Halky Fibrax I still like upgrading the rarities on things so I'll probably be using a lot of the same stuff I have been I just kind of want the feel of hybridization on my channel because I honestly like using either territory like I just don't see a point in spending tons of money on Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that I'm only playing uh, every once in a while and not even like you know in any formal event or anything we have uh uh, some waifu cards looks like this is cool resort staff charming it's almost all in english which is very interesting freaking mystic tomato with the tcg artwork because that's how korea does things <laughs> korean jd gaming this one's cool um i talked about it in one of the four fun facts but this thing's uh, ocg name is like five or six different characters looks like six in korean and um it's just like a bunch of different words that you wouldn't even expect as part of this so um yeah it's a weird looking card neat nonetheless i like this card's artwork it's just it's adorable it's funny it's sibling siblings uh fighting and then the old one comes in and says hey stop it and oh i didn't know i had a third copy of this so wow now i can play uh the korean versions of those i just i don't like dude you know like dude was a fun set conceptually i like the the name the set abbreviation and everything but i just hate how at least in the north american tcg the quality of the cards was just so bad now we're able to double sleeve i'm actually uh very excited to do like a quick tutorial thing on that i know like there's tutorials online as well but it's something i want to put on the channel because i've had some experience double sleeving in the past for other games and so being able to go and kind of share what i've noticed you know tips and tricks that kind of thing uh should be kind of fun to have archived on the channel so we got some fun things like this ultimate got some super again I love this nice finish on these even the ultimate has that finish so it's like just looks really really slick and clean some more ultimates got some uh doubles and triples of things that I wanted honestly some of the stuff I forgot I even had in Korean which is very cool um, and the thing that made me remember I had this tin set aside was this card because I have two ultimates of this and I think I have an extra secret rare somewhere uh, I just noticed I dropped uh, this guy over here unexpected die um, so we got a full play set of Korean Widow Anchors, that's very neat. Same with the uh, Trap Trick, got an Ultra Dingyusu along with the Secret, Ultra Avramax, got a couple of these Cyanet Minings, of course, they got it reprinted into Oblivion in the TCG now. Totally forgot I had this, it's just like, I knew I had these somewhere too, it's just, this is a nice feeling, guys, just being able to find old stuff, doesn't matter the language of the cards, it's just very neat being able to find all the stuff that I was looking for. So, anyway, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video, or it might have been the previous part. Um, I started running out of energy towards the end of the previous session because it was quite a long one, and I just wasn't finding what I was looking for, so I was kind of disappointed in there, but I think this thing fixes it up quite nicely. Bit of treasure hunting, um, and that's part of the fun with Yu-Gi-Oh! is when you go through your old collection and find all this stuff. So definitely look forward to seeing some deck profiles and other things on the channel using these cards. I can't wait to get to the next one here. Um, it's an old one, but it's a good one, so I'm very excited for that. So thanks guys, this is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed, as always, and I'll see you guys next time. That's it for now, but feel free to grab one of these videos on your way out. If you really enjoyed what you saw today, remember to subscribe to JD Gaming for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks guys, this is JD Gaming, hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll see you guys next time.